Hello children. Today's video is going to be a little different. Today we're out here in this beautiful Florida scrub habitat as almost normal. And uh, today we're going to be out here kind of looking for anything really. But what makes this a little different is that we're actually, my main target is to get some research in on this species that is called Neotridactylus archboldi or the archbold pygmy mole cricket. Now these guys were described along the Lake Wales Ridge in central Florida. But however, a researcher of these beautiful grasshoppers, Brandon Wu, is actually out doing a survey throughout all the scrubs and has been finding that these Archbold Pygmy Mole Crickets are coming up basically everywhere. So I'm actually out, he hasn't come to South Florida yet, I'm actually out here in the scrub in South Florida trying to look for their burrows on the sand and hopefully can come across a few before he comes over and we'll keep looking for them together, I guess. Oh my goodness. The burrows are absolutely everywhere in this little open sandy spot. And I won't disrupt all of them because I do want this population to continue, but um, I'm gonna try and see if I could dig up some of the bigger ones. Um, this is very important. This species has never been recorded in southeast Florida and they are absolutely everywhere at this location. I'm gonna dig through a couple of these. This one looks nice. I just saw some jumping motion. That was not a pygmy mole cricket. Oh, there we go, we got one. Gone right here. That right there is an archbold pygmy mole cricket. Palm Beach County first record, right there. Southeast Florida first record. This species was described only existing in the Lake Wales Ridge, which is just north and west of Lake Okeechobee. But they've been spotted all over areas of Florida. So I figured that I would go out and look around my area because I was told that they like these kind of spots and here we go we got an archbold pygmy mole cricket right right here what a beauty I'm gonna try and catch it this little guy out I know I'm supposed to be here looking for grasshoppers but I got a little mustached tiger beetle right down here if you see it it is all white and it blends in perfectly with the sand Check that guy out. Let's get a little closer, see if it lets me get closer. So cool how their camouflage is almost perfect in the sand. You can barely see it until it moves. Now tiger beetles are actually the fastest running insects in the world. So that makes them hard to keep track of and hard to catch. Let's try and net this little guy up. Oh wow, that was surprisingly easy. This little guy is in the net right now. This right here was my first time ever holding a mustache tiger beetle. And while that white sticks out against my fingers like crazy, it was insanely difficult to spot these. Now this is a female because it's lacking white hairs on the back end of the thorax where you could see that black bear patch. That's actually to make space to where the male's mandibles would go during mating. There's one, there's one, there's one. Did you see that little hopper? Just hopped out. All right, the little guy just landed right here. Check that out. Just hopped right out of that burrow and landed right out in the sand where you could see it perfectly. Wow, such a beautiful species. Finally able to get one in hand. Just look how tiny this thing is. This is a full grown adult. Now, the adults of the species are easily recognizable by the all entirely black coloration, except for that red on the end of the hind femurs. So let's see, let's check out this little guy as he jumps off my finger. Just like that, disappears. The burrows were absolutely everywhere at this location, and the more I dug and the farther down the park I went, I kept seeing more and more. 
I figured now that I know that this is a very reliable spot for these Archbolt Pygmy Mole Crickets in central Palm Beach County. And now would be the time to leave, and I'll be back in a few days to help Brandon collect some for his research, as well as look for more grasshoppers. Alright, we're out here for uh, day two of looking for those scrub tridactylids, but I'm not here by myself. Hi. I'm uh, Brandon. Uh, I'm at Brandon Wu on iNaturalist. Uh, I'm a grad student in the uh, Song Lab at Texas A&M University, and my research actually focuses on these pygmy mole crickets, which are these really cool basal grasshoppers, actually, not crickets as the name would suggest. And most of the members of this family uh, occur along wet sandy areas along rivers or ponds, but uh, in central Florida, there's two genera, Neotridactylus and Alipes, that have adapted to live in these really xeric dry scrub habitats, which are the result of ancient Pleistocene dune systems. And so I am here this summer kind of surveying all the all the scrub ridges of Florida, looking for them, and uh, because no one has really studied them or looked for them systematically, or, or no one really also knows what they're even doing out there in the scrub. So that's what I'm here to do. Here we finally have our first Archfold Pygmy Mole Cricket that we've collected today. It's a very tiny nymph, and they get a little Bigger than this, of course. We'll definitely find more of these throughout the park, because I saw a bunch of them a few days ago, but this is a good start. I got an adult right here. Yeah, honestly, maybe I'll just come over here instead. I got it. It's in here. It's in, it's in my grip, but... I got an adult female right here, and uh, I think she's she's about to die. Um, but it's for science, so that's fine. Do I just drop it in there? Just kind of scooch it in there. Rest in peace. Well, when I was digging these by myself, I didn't see any of these, but these are popping up everywhere now. Apparently, Brandon's been seeing these all the way down the Atlantic coast, and we have no clue what kind of annelid worm this is. They're honestly probably a scrub endemic annelid worm that hasn't been discovered by anyone else yet, so that's kind of weird, but uh, neither of us really know much about annelids, so if any of you know anything about annelids, please give me a contact. Even better, reach out to Brandon on iNaturalist, because we have no clue what these things are. Cerealis cubans. Pretty small, yeah, typical Americana male, never the small and grayish, yellowish overall. And it's got a mite on it too. <laughs> nice. This right here was my lifer, Carolina mantis, which is a member of the genus Stagmomantis, which also has a much more common species here in Southeast Florida, the large Florida mantis. Now in females like this one, the Carolina mantis is a lot stockier looking, especially in the abdomen. It's quite easy to notice how stocky it was, so I'm used to the very long slender ones. All right, so here's everything that's uh, going to go with Brandon to wherever he goes next. We got some already preserved um, Neotridactylus. We got some live ones in here. Um, some cool ants, Fadoli um, Littoralis, which was my first time ever seeing the seaside big-headed ant. Um, some bumblebee millipedes a really cool, my first time ever seeing any member of the, actually both of our first times ever seeing any members of the Tetagidia Armada complex, which is a really interesting group of pygmy grasshoppers. And then we got some Melanopolis peninsularis, three of them. This cool mischievous bird grasshopper. And a bunch of Schistocirca cerealis cubense, so Here's an adult female, adult male, adult male, adult, uh, probably male, a, oh, here's the other adult female, a bunch of nymphs in here, and that's it. So, really cool finds.